Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to show you how the new reminders integration or improved reminders integration worked from the latest update. So before you had reminders here in the right in the timeline on the right sidebar only if they were scheduled to a specific day and and or time. Day was enough. So for example, you could create here a reminder test and let's put it on the task list and then you could see it here on the right side and also check it off and so on. So now there's a new fun functionality where you can also see your reminders from your reminders lists also when they don't have a date or time attached to them. And this functionality is integrated into the filters. So let's go to the filters and see how you can set it up. So I have here already um, a filter with the reminders set up and this is how it looks like if you click on edit. You can see we have changed a little bit the naming of the sources. So one is by origin and the other one is by date. Because these reminders are um, pulled from your reminders list by the list name and not by the date like you would see in the calendar um, view if you click one of the uh, date sources here. We also have reminders here in the by date uh, section. So this is the difference. Uh, here they will be organized by the name of the lists in the reminders app and you can see I only have reminders selected and nothing else you don't need to select open done cancelled or so on because it's not a real task it's, it's a it's a to do which is coming from the reminders but it's not a no plan task so this is how it works and um, if you want to have to create this filter much faster without clicking uh, the options here you can also click now on new filter and you see new this was the old functionality and below you have the templates of uh, pre-created existing filters and one of those is reminders so you can just click on new filter and then reminders and it will be already automatically for you created so this is how it looks like so you see some reminders have dates and then they will be shown below and some ha don't have dates and if it's in the past like this one it will be also shown in red so you uh, so you know what to do or which reminders are out um, overdue so let's go back to our daily note and here now you can switch the timeline uh, which you could do from the last update as well you can switch the timeline to a specific filter view and one of those filter views is now reminders and here I can either check off a reminder or let me also undo it quickly or I can drag it into the node and then it will be basically removed from the reminders list it's like uh, importing the reminder into no plan it will be created as a checklist so um, just like you see here not as a task and you can check it off and uh, import basically your reminders so there's a specific workflow you can use because reminders work very well with Siri if you tell Siri to remind you about something um, you can create those reminders on the go with your iPhone for example and then when you're on your Mac you can see them here in the right sidebar automatically synced uh, through the reminders app. So this is the advantage. Also what you can do is if you open a regular node, let me open or create a new node. And now if you drag one of the reminders with a date attached to it, let me drag pay rent for example, it will also create the or add a scheduled uh, date link to your checklist. So uh, the date is preserved if you drag it into a node. So if you um, use Siri to create this kind of reminder, it will also, uh, if, if you attach also a, not just a date, but a time, it will also create the time as a kind of time block if you drag it in. And this is how it looks on iOS. So in iOS, you can open the timeline from the bottom as you did probably before by tapping on the calendar and time icon here and then you switch from timeline to reminders just the way I did this right now on macOS and then you can see the reminders on your iOS uh, device as well on your iPhone or iPad and you can also drag them from here into the node for example some task and will be removed from the reminders app you can undo it as well and we'll go back to the reminders app and how to set it up on iOS. So if you set it up on macOS, it will be automatically synced. But on iOS, you can also just click on uh, a tab on uh, filters. Then on the top right, you have these this um, settings icon and then you click on 
you filter or you tap on and then you turn off everything else except reminders and the rest you can leave it as it is because it is um, the reminders are sorted by reminder list and not by date so save give it a name my reminders and here it is so I hope you like this update it's a quick and small update we put in in between uh, uploaded in between and um, thanks for watching